Oh, God. Man, no job's finished till the paperwork's done. Oh, hey guys, this is, where, this is where the plumbing starts. Well, not right here, right there. Let's go look at some underground plumbing and see what all we can figure out on this rough end today. In this video today, we're gonna to be showing what a rough end should look like on a new house build and why it's important. Okay, so actually, before you start on a job, you need to know what you're building. And I love this. I literally just walked up to this job. They've got these out here on site. But this miniature set of prints, I literally went to A-0, so it's the first architectural it's an elevation page, but this is the foundation silhouette plan. And what I can do is I can look at this, I see where the toilet, the lavatory, the Roman tub, the shower, another lavatory, another toilet, another toilet and lav here, the kitchen, the dishwasher. I can see where everything on this job goes. Now, one thing I like about this, and it wasn't this way when I started out, literally it has all the exact dimensions as to where everything is, where they want you to rough it in. Now, this really does come in handy because we used to have to do this in the field. We would literally get a set of drawings on the way out the door or come up and you come over to just a drawing like this, which is just the first floor plan. Now this is great because it gives you all the dimensions off the wall to where everything is, but you've got to kind of look at it and figure out, okay, exactly where do I want to put my plumbing? Where are the walls? What is center of the wall? Then you go back and look at different drawings to figure out the wall schedule. How thick is the wall? Is it a four inch wall? Is it a six inch wall? What do you have room for? And how do you get it all in there and make sure you get everything done right? So I'm gonna flip back over here. What I would do if this was my drawing is I would look at, well, where my two way clean outs are out front and where I'm gonna rough it in at. So I'd look at where I wanna bring in my sewer line. So if I run a full four inch line in, under this bathroom and go to all this. Now, one other thing too, and I wanna see if they caught it on here, because this is a two-story house. So yeah, it's got a three and a half inch drop right here. So they've already planned for the upstairs to come in off that line there. And you've got another three and a half inch drop here for this other bathroom. So let's go over here and walk this rough in, see how it looks. And then we can always refer back to these drawings to see what we're looking at. Let's go. Now I'm sitting here looking at the drawings and the city tap is right here, about the middle of the house. Now there's a garage entry right here. So I'm gonna assume that there's a driveway going here. So now I see why the plumber offset everything over to this side of the house. You've got the main entryway right here. He could have possibly gone right here in the center of the house, but he went to the other side. The only thing I don't like about that is you're crossing under a sidewalk, an entryway. This is gonna be under probably a city sidewalk which we have no control of. But I would have probably turned right here, right about here, I'd have gone straight back into the middle of the house, that have kept it this side, but he may know something I don't. They may be putting a big tree right here. So maybe that's why he went all the way over there. But anyway, the city tap, the plumber gets down, ties into it, comes up out of it, runs everything over to the house, and we've got a full size four inch line. Looks like all the way over to the clean outs. So let's go over there and take a look at it and see how it goes from here. One more thing I like too, where there's a city tap, I like to come out and come up as straight as I can. That way I've got to clean out out here just to go down into the tap. That way, if there's ever a problem, a plumber can run a camera down to look to see if the tap is in good condition or if roots have penetrated it and you've got a problem there. But I love coming up, giving myself a clean out there and then putting a combination or a Y to come over to come catch the main drain. This is typical, this is good. Uh, it's about three and a half feet deep, perfect depth. I noticed walking this over there, I think there's quite a bit of fall in here. I would have possibly brought this up just a little bit. There's a lot of extra digging here that I don't think you necessarily need, but different plumbers look at it different ways. I love the fact he's got the water line ran in the ditch. It is benched, so it's not right down next to the drain pipe. It's 12 inches up, 12 inches over, runs it in, brings it in right here into the house with his PEX tubing. Coming out of the double combos, they do reduce down to three inch and run three inch inside, which, you know, three inch should handle a house like this without any problem. Me personally, if it was my house, I love four inch. Man, from the furthest toilet all the way back, but, you know, 
Everybody does it different. I understand that. I like having the additional area, but you know, wash out, things like that. I understand why different plumbers do it different ways. We all do it how we're taught. So that's just one of the ways that I was taught and I always thought that was a cool deal. So we walk in, come in the front of the right here. Looks like you're gonna come in. This is what I'm gonna assume is a guest bath. I hadn't really looked at the bedrooms or layout or anything like that, but I've got a shower right here. I've got a toilet here that'll have a lavatory coming off of it. And then, well, here's that three inch riser going up to the upstairs to help catch the bathroom up there. So your front entryway really, man, it looks really good. I like the way they've got everything secured. They've got it done with rebar. When I was an apprentice, when I was starting out plumbing, we literally secured everything with conduit. Now, I like the rebar because, man, it's solid. You can drive it in a little bit easier, but man, everything looks nice and plumb from what I've seen so far. I like the way that they've got the box here around the shower. That way, you know, they'll be able to offset it to hit dead center, anything they want to do. So right here, the main comes in. Looks like we've got a, a three by two combination, turning up with a 45 rolling over. Maybe a 22 and a half. Got a three by two combo turned up. Then it's got an offset fitting rolling over here. We're gonna go down here and this is the kitchen area. Let's go check it out. Okay, so what we've got is the kitchen line. You come up, you've got a two inch combination, a two inch sweep. So that tells me this is gonna be an island, this is gonna be a loop vent, and you've got a double vent off of it. Now, it's not quite how we did it when, when I learned and I was growing up. You've got it here for a loop vent, you've got a line going over to it, and then there's another two inch line coming over. Now, to me, this may be what they're gonna pull the water lines through. Uh, not sure why, but I'm not sure yet where the water heater is on this project, but that would be one way to get the water lines up where you can rough them in, in this wall and have them behind there, then you can take your vent over here up and out the roof. All right, so now let's walk back over to the main and follow it up and see what they caught next on the project. All right, so here we are, we're back on the three inch main. The water line is running right here with it all the way up. So we're gonna come up to here. The water line branches off and comes over here. Now. If you look at this, this is your garage entrance. And really it's like a three car garage. It looks like there's one right here and two right here. So that would make sense. This water line could be in the wall in the garage, which I love that because then it gives you access to the house. They could put a valve in here and a panel inside that garage where anybody who needs to can just come in, turn that valve off and shut the water off to the whole house. So let's look at this stuff. All right, so from looking at the plans, we're right here. You get a branch off right here. That one catches the garage, so I get that. Now we keep coming back. Well, this is that other, they call it a three and a half inch drop. Really, it's a three inch drop going to upstairs. So in the ground right here, you've got a three inch Y going off this way. You've got a bathroom back over here, a bathroom and a lavatory, which looks like it backs up to the master suite. You've got the laundry room here. You've got a three inch rise going up right here. And this is a toilet and a lavatory here. So probably a powder bath off of the main living room or something like that. Now this line keeps coming over and this gets us back into the master bedroom. So man, let's come back here and take a look at all this. So here we are back at the master bath area. And this looks like this is gonna be really nice. You've got the powder bath over there, the toilet and the lavatory. Then you come back in here, you've got the shower drain right here and it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good size shower. Uh, about a four by four, a little bit bigger than the normal three by three. Let's see, that's what I don't figure out. There's no vent on that. So you come off here, you catch your shower. Then you come over, you've got your tub drain right here. Now I'm not sure about this loop unless that's to loop a water line over to the side wall so you can put a frost proof right outside there, which would be a great idea. You definitely want one on each side of the house and that may be what the loop's for over there. A frost proof, a frost proof. On the front of the house, you could bring one off the water main. I don't know why they didn't put in a loop like this for it. And also, I would want one in the back of the house. But looking at the plumbing, the way it's roughed in, you've got your shower here, you've got your Roman tub here, you've got your two lavatories there, and then the one toilet in the master bathroom. So this is actually a pretty neat looking layout. 
you look at this stuff, it's all pretty, it's all pretty solid. It all looks true plumb and square. Maybe one or two lines off just a little bit, but nothing bad. But I've got to tell you, for a rough end, this looks pretty daggum good. If you like the videos like this where we get out in the field and show you, man, what all's going in, how it's going in, man, maybe we can even get to talk to some plumbers who are actually putting it in and see what we can come up with. But man, if you like these videos, do me a favor and leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part about these videos are. I hope you're enjoying it. So do me a favor, go along with me on the ride because the next one we're gonna do is winter pouring the concrete. So let's see what we can do.